Hello everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, you notice I've got my tree skirt out, which means Christmas is it's coming soon. And of course, last night was the presidential debate with Mitt Romney and President Obama. Oh, yeah, that was the last of the debates. Now, who won? Well, is it better important? Is it more important to win one debate or the entire series of debates? Well, you can go figure it. And I think part of that is was history written or unwritten or rewritten or shall we say airbrush? But meanwhile, we're getting ready for Christmas. It was Christmas is the live stream Christmas special, which actually is happening the day after the election on November seventh. Meanwhile, oh wait a minute, you know what was? Apple has major announcements, but for now we're going to bring Old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Are you stream or something? And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, I mean they're they're all they're all brain like jackasses. How Romney was beaten badly last night, and. And, and that the Republicans now, you know, might, you know, it's all over. No, the problem was is that Obama basically looked anything, one of the people say he looked like a Chicago thug out there, not the President of the United States. And today he's doing the same thug tactics. Of, well, Romney's a liar. Romney doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, the problem is, is Romney is repeating the information that the, that the, that the government provided him you know, like from the Defense Department sending these figures, so he's reading the figures that Obama should have known, which means if the figures he was giving are lies, then Obama's lying to the American public. So, but, um, you know, it's just, uh, first of all, they said that it's irrelevant about the thing because all Romney had to do was not lose. Mm -hmm. If he, if he, the only way he could have lost was to come out and not look uh, presidential because here's, here's the thing about, uh, and no one, no one wins a presidency on foreign policy. There's a simple reason because there, the, you learn foreign policy on the job. You don't know it before you become president. The only yeah, they did say that. Let's see, Romney won on the economy, and Obama won on foreign policy. Yeah, and, and since they all know <laughs> Obama's foreign policy sucks at the moment, it was not a win for him. And Apple introduces its mini iPad. Which was a crushing disappointment because it's over a hundred dollars more than its rival. And that was just what a few hours ago. Yeah, and in fact, they said all they did, all any, uh, they said the Apple did nothing but announced that they they're bringing out improved versions of models already in existence and the mini pad, and the mini pad at over a hundred dollars more than the cost of its. And the reason why the rivals are doing so well because they're under. They're placed under two hundred dollars, and the, and the and Apple starts out barely underneath the smallest priced iPad. Um, and deadly Spain earthquake triggered by groundwater removal. I've been telling people for years that's why there's so many bloody earthquakes in areas where there's uh, anymore is because they basically what happens is a cavity must be filled in. When you drain all the oil out of an area, you end up with lots of earthquakes in the area. When you drain all the water out of an area, you end up with lots of ground moves. You basically, anything you remove from the ground, a lot Causes of the ground to move. So, for, I mean, that's why you have, um, you can almost, okay, you really can predict where earthquakes are going to happen by virtue of how many cavities that are open in the ground in the area. And Obama easily wins the debate. Oh, yeah, because it was, uh, let's put it this way. Uh, uh, the, the figures were in before the debate ever happened because I saw some of them last night. Let's see, Obama won, 95% of the people agreed that he won the debate. That was before the debate. That was before the debate. Unfortunately, they said that uh, it was basically almost dead even in the polls. And um, the way it works again is if, if you're the champion you, and you're on the ropes, you have to knock the opponent out. He didn't knock Romney out because I, uh, they basically put him right under Obama under the ability to do foreign policy. So therefore, wow. if the polls all show in the extra question, you think that he could uh, he could be president of the United States and handle foreign policy? And they said over 60% of the people said yes. But Obama's like 62%. So. And Obama immigration stance locks in Hispanic support. No, it doesn't. I mean, they're saying, well, he's going to take Nevada now because of him, his immigration stance. You do not see tons of illegal aliens rushing in to, ha to do Obama's Dream Act because they know that the Congress of the United States is the only one that can pass legislation. The president cannot say, do not prosecute these people anymore. 
Because here's a good one. The people, he says, do not prosecute, do not work for his branch of the government. They work for the branch, they, you know, they, they, you federal marshals work for the House and the Senate. They do not work for Obama, and they are the ones that will do the arresting. And SNL spoofs second presidential debate. Um, yeah, you know, it's, um, it's, uh, it, it's all about the economy, stupid, which is what they kept saying last night. They said Obama wanted last night's debate to be about um, about foreign policy, which he thought, of course, he, he, he no longer mentioned any of his failures. I got bin Laden, and we're leaving Iraq, we're leaving Afghanistan. Let's see, we're leaving Afghanistan in a horrible position, we're leaving Iraq in a horrible position, which is what happens when you don't finish what you start out, then you have to go back in and fight another war. World War II came about because of World War I. Korea came about because of World War II. Vietnam came about because of Korea, because if you don't finish it off, you're going to end up with another battle. Ooh, and doesn't hurt when floor collapses during Florida party. I know, that what happens is you get, uh, okay, most homes are not built. Second stories are basically built on framework that should never have been approved, but there's a difference between being legal and what should be. You know, if you don't put bigger beams in the second floor, if you put, okay, I know people that put beds, heavy beds in the second floor and ended up with a bed in the living room because the beaming structure wasn't big enough to work. Oh, and Obama wins the third debate, but Romney wins the debate season. That's... I know, can you tell we just had a debate last night? There's it's lots of news the about it. Because they said Romney, Obama did not stop the momentum. It's not good for, okay, why... Okay, you saw the pissed off Obama last night, more pissed off than last week. This morning he's even more angry because he, he's further back in the polls today than he was yesterday. Because you have to knock the opponent out if you're the champ. You have to make him look unpresidential. And basically Romney last night uh, played the timid mouse and didn't get involved in anything, which really got the people on the right and he needs the support of. Uh, you know, but uh, the trick is he figures he's got them locked up because they don't want Obama for another term. Mm -hmm. But here's the kicker, folks. I have been telling you for a year that Obama did not need to win a single vote to become president because he holds the Senate. The Senate is now planning on having to vote on the presidency of the United States, and to come up. Here's the, the scenario: Obama does not get enough electoral votes to win the presidency. Uh, and, uh, and, and Romney basically gets the bare minimum to win it. And, and a electoral decides not to vote, which is going to happen because there's people over in the Romney camp that are going to vote for, um, uh, for uh, other candidates because they don't like Romney. So the Senate is then given the charge. And because the Senate, if, if the Senate is going to be like 4951, they are not going to put that man in again that basically has cost him ground. So they're looking at the compromise, which has happened in the past. A Romney presidency and Joe Biden kept on as vice president. Well, since Joe Biden's the one that makes the deciding vote in the Senate. Yeah. <laughs> right? They said that the odds are there's no way on earth if it is a 51-49. No, he won't have to make the deciding vote. If they'll have 51 They'll the decide Senate. it for him. And so in, in order to keep control, they'll sit there and put um, Biden, they, they, if Biden is out as vice president and, and Ryan is in, he basically becomes the, becomes the tiebreaker and they would rather have the vice president they know as the tiebreaker which keeps them in power. Ah, and U.S. intelligence hurt when Libya base was abandoned. Well, they had no intelligence to begin with. That's the whole problem. <laughs> oh, that was the problem. Yeah. <laughs> War intensifies across Syria and refugee uh, oh, yeah. crisis deepens. Well, because uh, Turkey and Syria are firing cannon shots into one another's country. And now, Turkey is basically intercepting serious aircraft flying over Turkey, which basically is a violation of the NATO rules because they have, uh, NATO basically has its, uh, it, uh, you know, can, ha, is in charge of the airspace, and you cannot tell NATO. The NATO members cannot tell other people that cannot use NATO airspace. So, and the morning after, Obama keeps attacking. Well, yeah, because it, it's that it's like he's acting like a Chicago thug more than President of the United States. Because he, 
first of all, they said, here's what they said last night, that the Republicans have more money in reserve for commercials the next two weeks than Obama does. Obama is making appeals. Obama has basically got every dollar he could squeeze out of everybody, and the wealthy people are now, his, the wealthy people like Clooney and others are dumping a million bucks at a time off to PACs in order to try to, to uh, keep Obama in office. And iPad Mini join our live blog on Apple's announcement. Oh, we actually, we actually did watch it live. It was no announcement, folks. It was not an announcement that anybody... They said, if you buy the Mini, you're not going to spend more money for the, app, for the iPad, which basically hurts the app by itself. Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, in, this, in the day digital world, just because you think you saved it doesn't mean you actually saved it. 